want to talk to all the children out there about the time I guest starred on Sesame Street. <laughs> so gather around, kitties. Mm. I was blowing the producer of the Medusa touch, I thought, but turned out I was in the wrong tower and this guy directed Sesame Street, so now at least I have a part on that. <laughs> I was in a bit of a lull because, as they say, you're only as good as your last hit, and I just hit a family having a picnic with my Seville. So I spent some time in what they call Hollywood jail. <laughs> Though I'm not sure why, because it's in Silmar. Yeah, doing a sesame could really turn things around. It'd be a lot of Hollywood big shots have kids or beat off to them. Only when I get there, some child monitor lady wants to search my bag, which I refuse on principle. Plus, I'd been up all night with Harry Stanton, so oh boy was I holding. Meanwhile, the kids on the show are breezing right in, so I got one to hide my stash in his lunchbox. I, I told him don't touch it, because it's adult candy. But children are irresponsible. Anyway, if you think kids are obnoxious attention hog germ balls already, get some high on coke. The girl in my scene wouldn't shut up about her idea for a new doll. And the two boys start fighting with each other over which one thinks the other one is more amazing. And meanwhile, I haven't had any coke, so I just want to punch them all in their teeth. And then that becomes a whole thing. Now, the child monitor lady starts sniffing around. So, I rush backstage, find the coat before she can, then turn around and Big Bird saw the whole thing. Well, turns out his lighting double. Just my luck, he's gay too, so there's no reasoning with him. But that does mean he definitely loves coke. I ask if he'd like to wet his beak. Only, he's used to the junk Big Bird money buys, not Jack Nicholson upstairs movie star coke, so does way too much, has a heart attack or something, and goes right out the window. <laughs> and the whole way he's going down, he's... He's flapping his little wheeze. <laughs> it's a had to be there. It was three stories, he barely even died. Sesame Street, of course, swept the whole thing under the rug. Yeah, that episode was brought to you by the letter cha-ching. Yeah, you'd think PBS would be different, but showbiz is showbiz is showbiz. <laughs> they say never work with children or animals, but in Hollywood, that's all there is. Oh, uh, plus, I learned a valuable lesson, too. Never blow a guy without asking him his name. Good night, kids. Mwah.